Um, Ken, thank you very much. It, yeah, it, 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 it was quite an amazing turnaround today uh, for the team. Um, could you just chat to us about how much of that was mental? Because you guys, uh, you especially, seem to come out with a very definite game plan today. There seemed to be a lot more clarity and, and sharpness and intensity uh, about the batting. I think a lot's been said over the last um, week and a bit uh, in terms of our preparation and, and obviously the first test. So, yeah, we had to basically, you know, like I mentioned in the press conference uh, earlier this week, we had to kind of, you know, back against the walls, we have to show up and, and deliver a punch. And um, it's all down to basics. I think if we just if we stick to our basics, you know, you're, you're going to get it right more often than not. So to come out the way we did today, you know, as a team and, and the guys that, that batted today, it's just, you know, it's obviously uplifting um, for us going forward in the next four days. Lloyd Thanks, Sips. How's it, Sorrel? And, and very well batted. Uh, I, I know on TV you spoke about how much this means uh, for the team, and that's obviously the most important thing. But just if you can take a moment to just talk about it on a personal level, um, you know, the years of, of piling on runs at domestic cricket level, um, does there come a point where you think to yourself, um, you know, geez, may, may, maybe my chance isn't going to come? Um, you know, now that it has come and this has happened, just how much does this day mean to you? Yeah, obviously it's a it's a very special day. Um, you know, I, I must say, probably 24 months ago, I probably didn't think I'd be in 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 a position to be even close to a South African Test squad. So, you know, to sit here today with a, a Test hundred behind your name is extremely special. Um, I think it's more special having gone through all the the hard yards over the years, and you're know, taking learnings uh, along those years and you know implementing them. You know, with the squad over the last year. So just like you said, I know team comes first. Um, I'm very, very happy, you know, we can turn things around uh, after the first test. Hi, Sarah, uh, well bedded. Um, Sarah, I just want to ask you a little bit about um, the emotions that you had. I mean, first of all, you're batting, you're batting with the guy, I suppose, that you've replaced at the top of the order and, and he was with you when you got your 100. And then also, I understand there's a member of your family that you, you haven't seen for a long time who's, who's there watching you today. So uh, what was that like, just those two contrasting emotions and seeing your sister again, I guess? <laughs> yeah, it's obviously always special batting with... Um, well, I haven't done it with with Aiden just yet, but you know, having batted with with Dean as well, and now batting with Aiden today, getting that hundred with him, it was you know, extremely special. You know, they're two good guys, two guys that have um, taken me under their wing and you know, helped me through this journey the last year. So, yeah, you know, <clears throat> lovely to be out there with them, and then yeah, you know, lovely to um, celebrate and and get that hundred um, in front of a bit of family. Um, my sister, yeah, you know, she lives here in in um, New Zealand. <clears throat> Sorry, put a lump in my throat here. Um, <laughs> yeah, and she's, um, she's been through a tough time here, so yeah, nice to have something for her to smile about. Stuart, and then Kanisa. Uh, hi. Um, hi, Sarul, congratulations. Um, I just want to go back to something you mentioned at, at the toss. Uh, sorry, at, at post the, the, the briefing you had on the field where you spoke about the toss and being surprised by the fact that Dean chose chose to bat. <laughs> Can you outline the timeline for that? I mean, when did he say, well, if I win the toss, this is what I'm gonna do? Or did he, you know, make it make make it clear to you only after the coin had gone up? No, no, no. He had told me um, you know, in the in the warm-up, you know, just just be ready because this is what we're gonna do. So I had time to prepare, um, you know, like all of us. Everyone, you know, everyone was on the same on the same page. It's not like it was just after the toss that I found out. Um, so I was definitely there was definitely a clear mindset going into today um before I went to bat. So yeah, definitely definitely wasn't sprung onto me last minute. Um so I had I had some time to to think about things and um, yeah. Can you um, thank you very much. Um, good day, everyone. Um, uh, SJ, when you look at how today panned out, you lost your get at a different time despite um, betting well, but where would you say, how, how would you say the today uh, is poised from, uh, from, a, from a match and series perspective? 
yeah, obviously not ideal losing uh, losing uh, those two wickets um, myself and, and Aiden um, at that at that time. You know, I think we put the team, especially myself, I put the team under a bit of pressure there at the end. And you know, just thankful that um, you know Rassi and, and Temba could fight through unscathed at the end there. So. I think the match is well poised at, at this stage. Um, we've got a world-class left-arm spinner in our side um, who I'm sure will come into this game um, and it'll be a player vital lot or will come day five, um, day four. So I think it's, yeah, I think we're probably um, on top at the moment. Lloyd, and then we'll move on to Afrikaans. <laughs> Kyle, in the New Zealand press conference, uh, Shane Jenkinson was saying that the wind, he thinks, played quite a big role in, first of all, the, the edges not carrying and then also just making it really tough to bowl from the one end. Uh, was that your experience of it? And, and would you agree that the, the surface is uh, not playing the way it did in the first test? Yeah, obviously we experienced a bit of wind in, in the first game, but um, I think the wind, yeah, it, it played a role today. Um, you know, the ball swung throughout the whole day because of that wind coming from the one side of the ground. So it was obviously a bit tricky for us as batters also in your in your stance. You can get blown over a touch. Um, so, yeah, it, um, I must say it's obviously tricky for a bowler running into ball and it was tricky for us as batters. So I think it evens out the playing field a bit. Except, uh, sorry, if we just go back to that, uh, to the toss and the importance of the toss. I mean, just when you're captain, you know, given that you were 210 for 20 in the in the last test, um, you know, when you when your skipper wins the toss on on, on the same uh, ground and, and then then ups to bat. I mean, does that send the right message of positivity and intent to to the rest of the team? Do you think? Yeah, listen, we um, we had to to obviously, um, you know. Win a win a test match. We want to be one or leaving uh, leaving the shores here. So it, you've got a you've got a man up. You've got a front up, and um, I think that's what we did today. So yeah, you can you can think about the last test, but um, last test is the last test. It's a new test, um, new energies, um, and we've got a goal in mind. And you know if that means you've got a bat first on a greenish wicket or a wicket that does something, that's so be it. Um, you know that's the the nature of this game. Um, and like I said, we've got a goal in mind. And if that's how we're going to win a test match, that's what we'll do. Sorry, we'll have Pila and then um, Afrikaans. <coughs> Thanks, Buckles. Um, Saro, firstly, congratulations and well done on your test 100. I just want to go Thank back to something much. that probably Peter Milan mm -hmm. said in his debut um, test match. And he said that, you know, most of the pressure comes from domestic cricket and having to go to the Diamond Oval and when no one is actually watching anything uh, that you're doing um, and then stepping up into international cricket where you, it's more about making sure that you tick the boxes of your preparation. Do you feel the same about making the tr transition from domestic cricket into international stage? Yeah, it's, um, I mean, it is, it is what it is. Um, you've got to get on with it at domestic cricket and um, you've got to prepare yourself you know, whether it's your first year domestic cricket or your sixth year or tenth year domestic cricket, you've got to make sure that you prepare yourself uh, for international cricket. Um, if that's if that's what you want to do, if that's if that's why you play cricket and you want to play international cricket, you know, you've got to front up and, and show up every single day trying to get better to to make sure that when you do get a chance to play international cricket that you're ready. Um, and I'm just obviously very fortunate that I had a year to um, to kind of settle into the into the team or into the squad. Um, and and could kind of find my feet pre preparation wise, um, you know, kind of find out what it what it needs or what it takes to um, you know to kind of you know do do half decently or do well at this level. So that's just the help from teammates. Um, so yeah, I think it's just the preparation uh, and fronting up is is key. Hi, Sorrel. Hi, Luke. I see you. Niet gemakkelijk is, ik kan niet meer oor slaan Engels toe, dus fijn. Nee, is het recht, ek sal my beste probeer. Cool. Um, ek wil net hoor, ja, ek meen, allemaal nou al praat van hoe lang jy op die plaaslijke toneel gespeel het, in 2008 al jou, jou debiet gemaakt. Was al ooit een stadium wat jy amper soos gedink het, jy is hier, jy is nie rarig vir my nie, ek, 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 ek verstaan, ek, ek probeer nou al so lang, maar ek, ek, ek maak hier al die deurbraak na die nationale span toe nie. Het jy ooit oorweeg om op te hou? En um, en en dien wel hoe het jy toe verstaan deur daai dip gekom om basis nou jou droom te bereik? 
Ja, dit het sêke so, ek sal sê, so 28 maanden terug het ek het dit dier my kop gegaan, waar, ja, dinge het maar net nie gegaan soos wat ek wat gehaard het, moet gaan, moes gaan nie. So, um, ja, ek was, ek, ek was sêke oproep weg om te sê, luister, ek is, ek is klaar, en, um, weet ek het, dankzij my ouwers, um, hulle het my bykie meer um, encourage, as ek die Engelse woord kan gebruik, um, En ek het, um, ja, ek het a sports performance psychologist begin sien um, in Durban. En um, ja, ons het bykie gewerk net aan my, aan my mental well-being en, en goed soos dit. Um, so ja, dit, dit, dit was maar seker die, die, die turning point vir my, um, waar hy staat hier op so 28 maanden terug. En is maar, ja, nie die, die finale product nie, maar en ek probeer nog steeds aan my sal werk, my mental wealth, health, jammer. Um, so, Ja, die jare wat ek um, gesacrifice het, um, alle jare, ek kan nie, ja, kon het nie uh, opgeen nie. En ja, dankzij my ouwers en die sport psychologist, um, ja, sit ek nou hier vandag. Is, is, is mental health? Can I go, uh, can I have another one, uh, Spookazie? Yeah, please, go, go for it. Um, is, is, is mental health en, en mental health, well-being, is dit, is dit vir jou iets wat wat veel belangrijk is, denk je daar word genoeg aandacht aan geskenk in, in Suid-Afrikaanse cricket? Nee, ek, ek denk ek het so een uh, um, interview gehad, seker so een uh, jaar terug of so, en ek het, ek het gemention dat ek denk jy nou is spandeer genoeg tyd aan nie, want weet, paar mense het verskillende, kom van verskillende kulturen um, en situaties in hulle leven, en um, jy weet, wanneer jy ingegooi is in die diepkant, weet jy nie miskien hoe met te hanteer nie, so Ek dink het is een goede ding wat ons steeds um, beter kan, met beter kan wees in, in, in Suid-Afrika, nie net in, nie net in cricket nie. Um, so ja, vir my is het een goede ding en ja, elke dag is maar een klein stapje um, of een klein proces wat ek, wat ek mee um, deel om, om net een beetje beter te raak daarmee. Thanks, um, and Sarah, can you just repeat that in English for us please? Um, just the last questions, the last two questions from from Dennis. I can't even remember the second to the last one. <laughs> Dennis, ask your question, <laughs> your, your first question please in English, just so that everyone can get the English point of view, sorry. Okay, no, it's fine. Okay. Uh, what, was there ever, was there ever a time in, in your career where you um, considered to, to give up mm-hmm. cricket and, and what was the turning point and then just the second one, um, your views on the importance of mental health awareness in, in South Africa? Yeah, so about 28 months ago, um, it, it did cross my mind. It went through my mind. It was probably a, a phone call away of, of, of calling it quits. Um, but obviously, I had a huge support um, when I sat down with my family. Um, my parents, they well, kind of picked me up, saw a, saw a sports performance uh, psychologist, and yeah, we worked through it um, daily. Um, it, was, it, was a, a, it was a hard slog, if I can call it that, um, to try to get motivated again to to kind of give my best um, after, after wanting to give up. Um, you know, all the hard year, all the years of hard work, um, you know, all the hard slogging um, that I had to, to do um, at semi-professional level, at franchise level, um, yeah, felt, felt pointless and, and worthless at, at one stage. So, yeah, obviously, luckily, um, yeah, I'm very fortunate to, to have worked with this uh, sports performance psychologist um, and yeah, to have the support of my parents during that time was also incredible and it's basically what both motivates me now. And the importance of um, looking after <coughs> your mental well-being and mental health awareness in South Africa? Mm. Yeah, I think it's a big thing. I don't think we, we, we focus on it enough in South Africa, not just in, in cricket, but I think in, in all sports. Um, I, I might be mistaken, but from what I've spoken to other sports sportsmen, I think it's something that's lacking. Um, and just in general life, I think as a, as a man or, or, or a guy, it's kind of frowned upon if you show a bit of uh, mental weakness or a bit of softness. Um, so, yeah, I think there's a lot of work still to be done. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm in that process every day, every week, every month, um, where, where I'm trying to better my uh, mental health, wealth um, and well-being. It's, it's a big part of my life and probably will be for a long time. Thanks very much, everyone, for joining us. And thank you for your questions. We'll chat to you tomorrow.
Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much.